This is Console Wizard. Uh, we're going to demonstrate actually reballing a Sony PlayStation 4 console. This repair is required when you um, suffer from the blue light of death, basically where your console powers on and it switches off after a blue light after a couple of seconds. So the best fix for this is to replace the solder balls underneath the APU chip, which is here. Currently it's unleaded solder and we're going to take this chip off put new solder balls on with lead solder and then resold it back on. So I'll put it on the machine. I've just taken off the APU chip. There's the chip. What we're going to do is replace the solder balls underneath the chip here and remove all the unleaded solder from there, the chip, from the main board and then replace it with lead solder. Now that we've got the APU chip off the board, we're going to remove the solder. What we're doing here is removing the unleaded solder from the chip. That's all the unleaded solder removed from the chip, so that's ready for the new solder balls to be applied. So now what we've got to do is remove the solder from the main board. So put that to one side. Now we remove the solder from the main board. Again, applying lots of flux to the board.
all the unleaded solder removed from the main board. Um, the board's nice and clean and um, smooth. So that just shows that there is no unleaded solder on there and it's important to remove all of the unleaded solder because it can cause massive problems if the unleaded and solder, leaded solder mix. Next is to um, put the new solder balls onto the chip, uh, which is the next process we'll be carrying out. So I'll put the main board to one side. The next thing we're going to do is apply the new solder balls, which are leaded, as I said earlier, to the chip. flux to the chip. What I have to do is line the template for the balls over the hole, over the pattern for the chip, which is perfect. And then we pour the new solder balls onto the chip. That's all the solder balls on the chip and basically what we have to do now is actually solder the balls to the chip. So what we have to do now is put it back onto the machine and run the process to melt the balls onto the chip. Right, we've got the, the chip on the machine, uh, the temperature place, probe's in place, so what we need to do now is start the process. So we'll move the top heater in place and start it. So it's the end of the process. The solder balls now are actually soldered to the chip. So what I have to do is cool it down so I can remove it from the actual machine. We'll give it the chip one last test to uh, check, I should say, to make sure that all the balls are adhered okay. Um, and then we can apply flux to the main board and solder it back. Right, the chip's actually cooled down now. It's still got the template on, so what we have to do is remove the template. And there you can see the chip has got lovely new leaded solder balls. What we are going to do is just make sure that all the balls are actually properly adhered to the chip. Um, so we're just going to go over it with a heat wand. I'm going to put a little bit of flux on a cocktail stick. Just put a little bit more flux on. To the areas that I'm not receiving. And then we're just going to lightly go over applying moderate heat to the chip, making sure that all the balls are properly soldered. Any that are not actually proper soldered from the machine process, I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but you can actually see them just jump into place. let that cool down and the chip is then ready to be soldered back to the main board. Right as you can see all the solder balls are now adhered to the chip so the chip is 
now ready to be soldered back to the main board and that's leaded solder balls not unleaded solder balls so we've taken off the weakness uh, these uh, the consoles have um, with the fact that they have to use unleaded solder okay right the next thing we have to do is apply the new chip with the new solder balls to the main board so what we're going to do first is put some flux onto the main board and then line the chip up making sure that we get pin one to pin one on the main board Chips nicely lined up on the main board now. We've got the temperature probe in place. We'll select this program for the machine. Making sure the top piece is lined up. And then we'll start it. The machine's now started. Um, so when that finishes, uh, the board is then ready to reassemble back into the console. That's the cycle finished, so now the chip is now soldered to the main board. What we have to do now is let the chip cool down. As you can see, there's the uh, smoke coming off the board, which is uh, just a flux, so it's nothing to worry about. Right, the board's cooled down, so the next step is to reassemble it into the console. Right, so we'll take the silver foil off the memory chips so that was protecting the memory chips during the reflow process. And we'll put the board back in for testing. successful reball of a PlayStation 4 that came into our workshops with the blue light of death. And as described earlier, what we've actually done is removed the APU chip, removed all the unleaded solder that was on the main board and on the chip, and put fresh solder balls on using leaded solder and, and resoldered it back. And there you are, the console is now working fine.